Uh, as I said, my name is Bob Kovacs. Uh, like the gentleman that was here before, I'm an author. I've uh, written hundreds of magazine articles that have been published. Uh, my wife and I have been interested in, in uh, uh, alternative energy, renewable energy, for many, many years. So uh, the next question comes, OK, you can see how much less we've used. But the question is, how much money have we saved? And what did all this cost? Here's another way of looking at it. So these were our monthly bills. Let's assume that we started at zero dollars here and they integrate up. This is the spring and summer months, so they don't go up really fast. Then winter comes and boom, they jump. Spring and summer come back again. Then winter, boom, we installed our solar system. It flattened out. It was a less of a jump up, very flat, very small jump up, very flat. So it's another way of looking at, at what this has done to our bills. This is what it cost us for the installation and the components. It was a full turnkey system. We threw a bunch of money at this company called Standard Solar. They came, installed it, and uh, you know I thought they did a terrific job. I'll actually show you the video shortly of them installing it. We had to pay a contractor to cut down trees, so we consider that to be part of the expense. So we get the total expense. So that was our total initial cost. Now, I've mentioned that the federal government has an income tax credit that it gives you. So if you pay income tax, you can take, you can get that money back, you know, come in income tax time, come April 15th, you can get that money back. And that's a good chunk of money. That's, is it 30% is the income tax credit? So 30% of the cost is a federal government income tax credit. So we got 30% of the cost back. It's, you know, $9,300, $9,400. When we put this system in, the state of Virginia had a grant for renewable energy systems, and we were able to get in on that grant. Now, I don't know if that grant still exists or not, but we were able to get in on that grant, and uh, that was a nice chunk of money as well. Now, keep in mind that the contractor that installed this, they were expecting us to write a check and hand it to them when they drove away. So we had to give them that 31,000 bucks up front. We had to give the tree contractor 4,000 bucks up front. I mean, nobody's financing us. And Virginia rebate, that, now is that one-time thing or is that renewable each year? Or that's a one-time one -time thing. thing. And I don't think it's available anymore. They set okay. aside a certain <clears throat> amount of money and okay. it was kind of first come, first serve. I understand. And okay. so they submitted our paperwork and they said, hope you get in in time. And finally we get this little email saying, you made it. It was like, yeah. 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 they just didn't know. And the contractor who installed our system, they did all of that paperwork for us. They did all the paperwork and there's a lot of stuff a lot of paperwork to, to try to get every last penny back that people will say that they'll pay you for doing this. They took care of all that for us, which actually was a big reason why we did it with them, because we didn't want to have to deal with any of that stuff, because you know, we didn't want to struggle and get into bureaucratic arguments with people. Oh, we did this, and what date we did it. We, just, we let them do it all, take care of all the, uh, of course, we needed to get a, a building permit, and they took care of all the approvals and the inspections and stuff. So there's the, the bottom line. The total of the rebates and credits was 16.5. And our final cost was 18,765. Still a big chunk of money. I mean, that'll buy a, you know, a Ford Focus or whatever, but uh, still a chunk of money. This was in uh, 2010, of course. Okay. Now, we, uh, you can get, if you put a solar system like we have on our house, you get solar renewable energy credits called SRECs. If you're an industry insider, yeah, how are your SRECs doing? Well, <laughs> we get $800 a year for SRECs. Now, that's on a five-year contract. They're contracted to pay us $800 a year. I think we get it quarterly, so we get a $200 check quarterly for five years. Now, you're getting this from who? The electric company? Uh, no, there's some organization. There's a, the electric companies, um, they fight to get these solar energy, renewable energy credits. Yeah. That's a good thing for them to have renewable energy credits. So there's some organization that um, groups 
solar generators together, and then they sell these to the power companies so that the power company could say that, well, 1.6% of our power is coming from renewable energy. And yeah. so we're dealing with that company. Exactly who that company is, I don't know, but that's, that's how it's done. And so we're lumped together with a bunch of solar energy, renewable energy suppliers in like Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Virginia. And then they sell their, that power, they sell that credit to the electric generators. Our electric savings, we save, the first year we saved, that the first full year we had the system in operation, we saved about $400. The second full year the system was in operation, we saved about $700. So that's, that's comparing with our 2009 bills now, uh, and that's the dollar amounts. If the actual cost of electricity has gone up, and I doubt that it's gone down, but uh, assuming the cost of electricity has gone up, our, our savings may actually be higher. Because again, we're comparing them with two-year-old bills, which may be billed at a lower per kilowatt hour cost. So, uh, and uh, we have a minus, or a, we have a dash there. That's a dash, not a minus. So we, I have the feeling, there's no good numbers on this. I've actually looked on the internet. There's no good data to determine if adding solar panels has changed the value of my property. I think it has, but I don't want to go crazy about it. I say it's probably increased our property value, maybe $10,000. I think there's people out there who would be more willing to buy our property because it has a neatly professionally installed solar photovoltaic system on the roof. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think it's a reasonable assumption. So if you now add all of these things up, it, it will kind of pay for itself in five years. And that's a quick look at the photovoltaic system installed in my home. We installed it about two years ago and it's been running perfectly ever since. Ooh, nicely done. Thanks. So yeah, we, um, we literally, other than once a year, maybe sweeping the panels off, there's no maintenance from our part. We, as far as we're concerned, it's completely invisible. It, all it does is generate power. There's no maintenance whatsoever. Now, once a week, I read the numbers off that panel and I put them onto a spreadsheet just so I can record the numbers and keep a log of it. But that's all I do. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for today. And we'll see you next week. Next week, I'm going to talk more about you know, wind energy, solar, and some other kinds of renewable energy. And uh, then the week after that, I'll talk about cars. Thank you so much. Thank you.